Now let's take you live to Cape Town. Melinda Gates will deliver the 13th Desmond Tutu International Peace Lecture at the Cape Town International Convention Centre tonight. The lecture will also serve as a tribute to Leah Tutu's 90th birthday. In addition, there will be an exhibition celebrating women who contributed to the struggle in South Africa. Let's go to the convention centre. Bulelani Philip is there. And Bulelani, this is a wonderful uh, female uh, panel or, or I guess lineup tonight. Well, uh, good evening to you, Francis, and to the viewers at home. As you've said, uh, there is a strong uh, five uh, illustrial panel of strong women uh, who are known globally who will be partaking uh, in the panel discussions uh, here at the Desmond Tutu International Peace Lecture. Of course, as you've said in your intro, this is the 13th, 13th version of uh, this peace lecture, which happens annually. And this year, uh, it's going to be the international philanthropist, uh, Melinda French Gates, uh, who will be leading uh, that panel of experts uh, in this uh, you know, uh, peace lecture. Of course, uh, the issues that are going to be touched on uh, is about uh, how to actually revive uh, and also reaffirm the legacy of the late uh, Emeritus uh, Archbishop Desmond Tutu, as well as the issues of uh, women empowerment and the like. Uh, of course, I'm going to bring into this conversation now uh, Nicholas uh, Shellstrom uh, Matseke, who is the chairperson of the Desmond uh, Lea Legacy Foundation. Uh, Nicholas, thanks so much uh, for joining us. Uh, firstly, how did you arrive at the decision of selecting uh, Melinda uh, French Gates as this year's uh, main speaker? So first of all, it's a, it's a process, uh, somewhat democratic. There are many voices. The entire board is involved. Uh, the leadership of the foundation is involved. And we always listen in uh, a little bit to the Tutu House. Um, it used to be a tradition that father would help us and guide us. And obviously, Auntie Leah uh, is, is doing the same. But no, I, if, you, if you look at uh, what we arrived at, uh, we have a strong tradition of women leaders speaking on this platform of the annual peace lecture of the Tutus. Uh, last year, for instance, was the Deputy Secretary General, uh, Amina Mohammed. Uh, this year we have a woman uh, together with four other women in a conversation. So it's more of a, a discussion. They, you can see that uh, the leadership of Melinda French Gates has done more for Africa and people in Africa than many presidents have done. So I think it speaks for itself. And this year's theme, what is it and what's her brief uh, to talk about at this uh, uh, event? So there is always a freedom uh, for the speakers to elaborate on it. Obviously, it's about peace. It's about stability. It is about justice and fairness and equality. But you can also uh, picture it in inside of the, the holistic sustainability that we're all looking for. Um, so this year it would be women voices, but they will use their own experience and their knowledge and their wisdom and beam it through the lens of the late Archbishop Desmond Tutus. We'll see. Right, uh, the late Emeritus Archbishop Desmond Tutu was a man who advocated for peace. He even led uh, South Africa's trans transition through the Truth and Reconciliation Commission. Of course, as the uh, foundation, what would you think his thinking where he is beyond uh, this world when he looks at the conflicts that are happening uh, in the Gaza as well as between uh, Ukraine and Russia? Yeah, I mean, father would be devastated had he seen what is going on at the same time he would never lose hope he called himself a prisoner of hope and which means that you never neglect the actual catastrophes you 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 nurture from them you try to understand them and then you commit yourself to drive in the right direction to assemble people that can force they have good forces and they can provide things for a better and more sustainable future. Um, if we look at what the Russian regime has done to Ukraine, it, it would, father would have been outraged. Absolutely so. The same when it comes to Hamas attack on civilians. 
and the same with the regime of Israel, now devastating lives of civilians that are absolutely innocent. The, the, several wrongdoings doesn't make you pick sides on things, but the side of justice and truth. All right, let's leave it there. Uh, that's all the time we have for today. Uh, Niklas uh, Schellstrom uh, Matzake, he is the chairperson of the Desmond uh, and Leah Dudu Legacy Foundation. On that note, uh, Francis, uh, we'll cross back to you uh, in studio. Thank you very much, Bulelani Philip. So Melinda Gates expected to deliver the main bulk of that lecture a little bit later on. We'll see if we can take you back to the Cape Town International Convention Centre.